And here by the mighty bend of the Mississippi River in Memphis, Tennessee, out on the field in Cardinal and Gold, we have the Iowa State Cyclones, coached by young Johnny Majors. This could be the last game for Johnny Majors at Iowa State University. Bud Wilkinson, Bill Fleming, and I are here as we now look at the mobile mascot of the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech, coached by young Bill Fulcher and his first year as head coach, coming into the game with six victories, four defeats and a tie. One of the defeats was over Duffy Doherty's Michigan State Spartans. Iowa State and Georgia Tech. Iowa State out of Ames, Iowa, with five wins, five losses, and a tie. That tie against powerful Nebraska, 23 to 23. So here on ABC, we kick off the major college bowl season of 1972. And now back to Chris Schenkel. And there's the opening kickoff as the toss was won by Georgia Tech. They elect to kick because of a 10 mile an hour wind undoubtedly, which in this case was to their back. And here you see the offensive line for Iowa State. And it'll be interesting to see the backfield now. Number 12, Amundsen. Great athlete, strong. 81 is Willie Jones, and uh, 48 is Larry Marquardt. So from the 20 yard line, it's a first and 10 for Iowa State. The Cyclones may have lost the ball. Let's see. And Georgia Tech recovers. Chip Everhart. And that fumble certainly set them up in business. From the 18 yard line, it's quarterback Jim Stevens, number 11. Sending a man in motion to the far side. From the I formation, a good four yard pickup on the play. Southall, the fullback, who. Uh, carried on the play for three yards approximately so it'll be a second down and six at the Iowa State 15 back to pass well it's good he had a plenty high enough and a third down and seven at approximately the 15 and a half Jim Stevens along with Healy and South Hall those are the two setbacks behind him 89 is is Owens let's see what Stevens will do to the line of scrimmage and that's it and with a fourth down and about seven coming up, we're going to have a field goal attempt by Bobby Thigpen, who's kicked three of four this year. And it'll come from about the 32-yard line. Correction, it wasn't Thigpen that did the booting. It was Bonifay, and it's good. Bonifay comes through for the rambling wreck, and they have taken a three-point advantage of the fumble on the very first play following the opening kickoff. And kicking the ball 32 yards is a fine spot split end or flanker back Willie Jones who is great on kick return. Let's hope he gets the ball to see him run. Out he comes to the 5 10 lost his footing on the natural turf here in Memphis Tennessee. Hopefully to help his team gain over 1300 yards quite an athlete 13 letters in high school for the 13 first and 10 for Iowa State. Look at that man go. And he brings it out to approximately the 23. 31 more, 48 Marquardt, 81 Jones on a second and one at about the 22 of Iowa State. And Moses Moore, Jones flanked to the far side, number 81 on a first and 10 from the 25. And Amundsen decides to keep it on the ground. Moses Moore, Icarus number 85 is to the near side of the field opposite is 81. Willie Jones on a second down and 10. And the pitch out to Moore. And the Georgia Tech defense, no place but number 84, Don Greenwood on a third down and seven from the 28. Amundsen, number 12. And he finds his man, Ike Harris. First and 10. They're going against Georgia Tech in the lead, three to nothing. Moses Moore. And the Cyclones are in Tech territory at about the 43. Amundsen, fourth nationally, but in total offense. They need one yard now for a first down at the 43. There it is. Great balance. Moses Moore, the junior. Please, we have a first and 10 now for Iowa State at the Tech 32. Tech is in the lead, three to nothing. Jones and Harris set away from the line. Amundsen, and what a variety in the Iowa State attack. Letting the tailback Moses break away from the block. From the eye, a flanker set away, split in, first and 10 from the 13. Hiding the ball beautifully. Receivers covered, now finds one. 
Beautiful, number 85, Ike Harris. And it is now a six to three ball game as the Cyclones come back to score. Playing for the point after touchdown, we have Gedgen. Gedgen. Perfect. So we have a seven to three ball game with nine minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter of the annual Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee. Be back in a moment. Seven to three after Tech took the lead on a 32 yard field goal. Gedgen kicking off. Picking it up is Mike Mercer, number 31, losing the ball. Nearly hit the referee. It's still loose. Ooh, and Tech now backed up against the wall with the first and ten and trailing now seven to three. Jim Stevens, number 11, the quarterback for Georgia Tech. Mm. However, Iowa State closed with it as we take a look at the Georgia Tech offensive line and their backfield. Greg Horn, Owings, Healy, and the quarterback is Stevens. Ooh, another loose ball on a second down and 10. Sophomore is centering the ball for Georgia Tech, number 55, Pete Guerin of Fort Worth, Texas. Getting ready now to snap it to Stevens, the quarterback. Handing it off at the goal line for a two yard gain, punting. Phil Donowski awaits the kick with a following wind at 10 miles an hour. At the 42, it's Schweizer that has it for Iowa State. Five Eastern, four Central. Okay, Chris. Thank you, Bill. From the 41 of Georgia Tech, Iowa State, leading seven to three. Amundsen faking the handoff. And he uses his size beautifully, 6'2", 214 pounds. Amundsen now has rushed for 35 yards. He's passed for 32, including a 13-yard touchdown. Harrison Jones set away. And that's Ike Harris who caught the touchdown. Both ends split, and we have a flanker outside the near side end on a first and 10 from the 27 of Georgia Tech. Iowa State with the ball. And from the widespread formation, Moses Moore. The first quarter, Iowa State seven, Georgia Tech three, second and four for the Cyclones from about the 21. Beautiful timing as he pitches to his fullback. Top left of your screen on a first and 10. Amundsen. Iowa State with the ball. They lead seven to three, 520 to go first quarter. Now second and four at the Georgia Tech seven. Watch. Those are a little impressive statistics. Three for three and 39, four rushes for 42 yards. Moore and Marquardt in the eye behind the quarterback. Amundsen, need a yard. They get it. Moore, now with a first and goal. The ball is on the two. They lead seven to three. Jones is to the right. I think that was a broken play. A second down and goal at the one. Here's a drive that started following a Georgia Tech putt at the Georgia Tech 41. There it is. Moses Moore, the junior from Miami, Florida, number 31, and his teammates are happy about that move. Fine inside fake this time by the fullback, Mark Ward. Watch him come over the ball here. A quick pitch by Amundsen, and Moore has superior speed. Elliott chasing him there, but can't get to him. 13 to 3. The kick is up. With 329 to go, it is 14 to 3. Iowa State as they went 41 yards in nine plays following the Georgia Tech punt. We'll return to Memphis following this message. So don't miss these Christmas Day telecasts right here on ABC. Okay, Chris. All right. Following their second touchdown, the kick goes to Georgia Tech. Mike Mercer. Mercer, who fielded the last kick, hangs on this time and brings it out to about the 16-yard line. Where there's Moore, who scored the touchdown, his first touchdown at Iowa State in two years. And ooh, here comes the first penalty. Oh, 3:19 to go, first quarter. It's 14 to three. It'll be a first down and 15. Tech in the white and gold, and Cardinal in gold. Iowa State. Ellerbe to the far side. The play on the ground, but playing the run effectively. All right, coming up now with a second down and 13. 
at the 13. Georgia Tech territory. The rambling Rex having a problem. Now they spread their offensive set. Georgia Tech with Jim Stevens, the quarterback. Ellerby, number 22, to the far side of the field, third and 13. Stevens from behind hit. And it's Croker again, number 79 there. Single safety now for Iowa State. It's uh, Moore who scored his first touchdown in two years. Amundsen, the quarterback, 81 Jones, 85 Harris, potential receivers. And you know, when you have three great potential receivers, from the 29 now of Georgia Tech, Amundsen, and Iowa State. First down. Four in motion. It comes out to Moore at 31. Moore got the taste. Jones to the left, Harris to the right, second and eight. In the slot, Greenwood. Marquardt is hit very, very hard, number 48. Okay, third and six coming up, but right now, the quarter has ended. We'll be back in a minute. Right now, it's Iowa State of the Big Eight on third and six, first snap of the second quarter, leading 14 to three, third and six from the 15th. And the first time that Amundsen had, has tasted a sack. We might be a little bit aware of as they get ready to snap it. From the 37 plus the 10 of the end zone, 47 yards. The side wheeler's kick is up and... No good. The 47-yard attempt and... We'll bring you the world's greatest sporting attractions, the Harlem Globetrotters and the World Figure Skating Championships, just to name a few. Okay, Chris. Jim Stevens, number 11 of Georgia Tech from his own 20, gets four or five yards. Now they have a second down and six at their own 24, trailing 14 to three. And battling for yardage, we have Southall, number 46. Coming up at the 13-minute mark, mark of the first half, Robinson, 85 set away. Keeping on the ground. Oh, he needs a little more yardage, and it appears he has the first down at Georgia Tech, trailing 14 to three from the eye. And the former junior college quarterback has stopped second down at six now for Georgia Tech at their own 34. Talk about gang tackling. Jim Owings, 89, 85 Robinson away on a third down. And they do a great job of converting another third down from the 45 now, first and 10. Peter 4 4. Very fine receiver to the far side, number 85, Jim Robinson on a second and nine. Pitch goes to Horn. Look at that boy. First and 10 now from the 30. 10 14 to go in the first half. And Jim Stevens on a, a keeper, way wide to the near side of the field. Oving is in the slot. Stevens handing off and a loss of five. We look at Jim Stevens, the junior quarterback. He's converted two thus far. He needs a lot of yardage. Look out. Done it again. And that'll make him come of age, believe me. From the 13 now, first down, Georgia Tech with the ball, trailing 14 to three. Stevens, number 11. Ball seemed to take off on him with 8.48 to go. First half, 14 to three, Iowa State. Oh, he gets the pitch off despite being hit extremely hard. Southall, here's another big third and six for Georgia Tech at the nine. The 14th play of this drive. Oh, a floater. Touchdown, Tech. Jim Robinson. He may be 5'9", but he was about 6'4 on that catch. Here he almost goes to the ground. 
Puts that hand down, regains his balance, and here comes that beautifully arched pass, as Chris talked about, and a long stretch by Robinson for the touchdown. Big Ben now trying for the point after for Georgia Tech, and it's no good to the near side of the uprights. But the score remains 14 to 9. With okay, Chris. All right. Following the Georgia Tech touchdown, here is the kick that follows. It is Willie Jones, number 81, coming out to the 10. He's going to be run out of bounds. Chased out of bounds. And now George Amundsen from the 12, first and 10. The score is 14 to 9. Iowa State with the ball and leading. That was Strawn. Right with the ball at the 13. It's a second down and nine for Iowa State. Oh, Willie Jones. You talk about hiding the ball on the hip. Now the snap from the 33 of Georgia Tech. 14 to 9, Iowa State leading. First half, about seven minutes to go. Ooh, did he control it? Second and 15 from the 38 of Georgia Tech. Iowa State in the Cardinal Red. Third down and 15. He hasn't had a chance to receive an Iowa State punt because they haven't had to. Tended for Willie Jones. Fourth and 15 now. Initial Iowa State punt by Cowan. Doug Cowan's punt. And they kick it away from Randy Rhinona. Takes a cyclone bounce. And it is inside the 10 and tech now. Robert Stevenson is in the lineup. 27 at the top right of your screen. First and 10. Eighty-five Robinson away from the line along with twenty-seven Stevenson second and eight. This year, third down conversions, Tex is four of seven, ISU two of four. Here's the third and eight. Oh, look out. Wow, way first down to Haley, the fullback. Now from the twenty-eight, first down. I flanker and split in to the near side. Well, marker down, holding against the cyclone. So from the 47, Stevenson throws into the flat. A good grab by Jim Robinson from Atlanta, Georgia, with the ball at the 40. Of Iowa State, four minutes to go, trailing 14 to 9. First down. Second and six now, approximately to the 36. Three minutes, 17 seconds to go. <laughs> Number 46, Ruth Southall. And a hustle to get it off before the 25 second count. Third down now. Can they make it again? No. 237 left. Mile an hour win. Let's watch the action of the ball. Hmm. Oh, out of bounds. You called it. At the four. Moses Moore, Mark Ward, and Jones. Jones the flanker. Amundsen just gets it off, and it's intercepted. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Faulkner, Gary Faulkner, and the pressure on the passer did the trick. They lead 15-14. Came back in a defensive play of this kind. You can see the ball underthrown, just overthrown slightly as Amundsen was hit. Faulkner making a great catch and slipping underneath the receiver. And now they go for, for two. Stevens, he's in. What a baptism of fire for... Jim Stevens of Georgia Tech, but what a performance. That's one of those options to pass and run. Back deep for Iowa State, number 81, a dangerous kick returner. Wheeler, number 10, will do the booting for Tech. Ooh. That's Willie Jones. Look at that speed. Thing of beauty.
exhausted and Willie Jones. Trying for the point after. That's Gedgen. Perfect. And we had one of the great catches of the night. Amundsen getting that high snap and putting it right back on the tee. Don't go away. The halftime will be just as exciting. Beautiful balance run by McNamara, Kevin McNamara, number 29 of, from the 35, their own, Owings, 89 to the right. Stevens. <laughs> that was Bruce Southall. Three man rush now. Second and 13. The old Statue of Liberty. Now it's third down and about seven. Well. And unfortunately, time has run out here in the first half as Southall had a nifty run, finding the hole and dancing through. And there go the football players. In the first major college postseason game of the year. We'll be back with a great halftime. Stay tuned.